This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelwabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing my 126th Mezco 112 Collective Action Figure Review of the White Skull Agent. Now, take a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in that standard, I guess, shoebox type of packaging with a really cool white skull on the front. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the White Skull Agent. Now, this is the figure that everybody seems to be losing their minds over. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's ridiculous. Now, there's no one side at fault here. Uh, it's just a trickle-down thing from this whole limited numbers, from Mezco to scalping to people willing to pay ridiculous prices for this. Um, and I'm going to be, again, this is going to be a very honest review. Uh, he's a cool figure. I'll, I'll give him that. I still like him, um, but he is a very basic bitch. Let's put it that way. He's very, very basic. Uh, and I'm going to be right off the bat here. Uh, he's probably my least favorite out of all the Rumble Society Gomez figures. Uh, cause again, he's just, he's just very simple, very basic. Uh, and a lot of people have been saying he's pretty much just a kit bash and, and I get it. And he kind of is, uh, to be honest. And again, I don't want to feel like I'm bashing this figure because I still do like it. Um, but for the prices people are, are paying, I would never pay that price for such a basic figure. Now, again, Try my best not to bash it because I still think he's pretty cool. Uh, so the skull looks great. Again, we've seen this skull before. Uh, this time it's just done in white with a little bit of wash in there, so I like that. I like the fact that we've got a simple white skull now, so that's really cool instead of all the different like rainbow colors and stuff that we've seen before. Uh, it does feel big, you know, and that's a common thing with all these skulls. They do feel a little big for the bucks, uh, but I always kind of see them as like, maybe that's not their actual face, maybe it's a dude wearing a helmet. So that's kind of just how I've always seen it. So uh, it is, is what it is. You know, if you like the size, I get it, no problem. But everything is a pretty basic suit you see under here. Uh, we got a lot of parts from uh, the Stealth Ops Gomez, which is really nice. I do like the uh, pants right here, uh, the white boots, or excuse me, the black boots, excuse me. Uh, they do get magnets on the feet. So you can, uh, if you wanted to, you could use um, the hoverboard if you wanted to do so, because again, it's just a Stealth Ops uh, figure for the most part. Uh, then we do got this brown trench coat, uh, which is nice. I actually do like this trench coat. Uh, there is a bendy wire here in the little strap, uh, nothing here in the actual coat itself, uh, so you can pose that around if you wanted to. Uh, now, it is actually the same coat uh, that we got here with Jim Gordon. Uh, it's basically the exact same coat. So if you have that Jim Gordon, uh, you know exactly what to get with this. Now here's my biggest thing uh, with this particular figure. Uh, I do not like the combination of this character with this brown coat. Uh, it just does nothing for me. It doesn't look like it even goes to this character, honestly. So I'm not really a big fan of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the hands off. Because uh, you do got to take the hands off when you're switching out the coat. Uh, so you can take this off right here. Like that. Uh, let's pull those off. Uh, and basically, I'm never going to use this coat again. Because I really don't like the way it looks on this character. So it, it just, to me, it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to put that aside like so. And we get a little better look at what he has in here. He's a long sleeve shirt. Uh, we, do, we do get a really cool harness that's done in white. I love that. You can hold his pistol in there. A couple extra magazines on there. So I think that looks really cool. I love the belt. Again, a white belt looks really cool, so I dig that. Uh, but what I did, and this is what I'm going to use, I bought myself a white trench coat that I just found on eBay. Uh, so you could do this, put this on there like that. I'm trying to do this on camera is a little tricky, like so. Uh, and I just think that looks so much better, man, with a white coat. I think that looks more appropriate. Um, I think. I think there should have been so much more white involved uh, in the design of this character because he just has literally just a white skull and then the white straps and that's it. Um, to me, that's, again, I, I don't know. 
I kind of feel like I wish I would have he had been in maybe all white, maybe, I don't know. Or again, just a white coat adds a lot to him. So I think that looks a lot better for me personally. So, but I mean, if you still like it, totally fine. I'm not trying to take anywhere. But again, this isn't a bad figure in my opinion. Uh, he, I feel like he's just lacking something. Um, and again, he just seems very, very basic. So is what it is, I guess. Okay, so now let's talk accessories. Uh, so we do get the standard Mezco stand, which I always do love. I love the logo right here. I think it looks great uh, with that white skull and the stripe behind it. So I dig that a lot, man. And of course, we get the clear articulated arm. Uh, we do have this really cool pistol that I think is awesome. I actually really like this a lot. I think it works great uh, for this character. If I could actually get this on there. So this stuff is kind of tricky to do. Uh, on camera and that finger is just not wanting to get to the hole right there so give me a second pardon me while i play with my toys uh so you do get a really nice pistol i think it looks cool too uh you can remove the magazine right here from that uh, if again this is really tricky to do on camera for some reason so you can take pull that out like so which i think is great and put this back in and then again you do get two extra ones that you can remove from the little holster like so so those work out great and i love the fact that you can even holster this stuff in there i think it's really cool so i love that and doesn't it just look better with the white coat i think it just looks so much better with the white coat oh uh, this again i found this one on ebay uh this one does have a bendy wire in it too so that's really cool so just something if you want to do search ebay you'll find some really cool stuff or just hit up the facebook groups uh and you'll see uh what you can find and people make some really good quality stuff uh, we also do get a knife, just a simple black knife. Uh, again, we've seen this kind of stuff before. I kind of wish this was in white, and also do wish there was some place to like holster this, maybe in the boot or something like that, or maybe another strap, maybe around the leg. I don't know. I just kind of wish there was more uh, a better way to holster all of these things. You really only get that right there. We also do pretty much get every hand you could possibly need: trigger finger hands, uh, gripping hands, uh, the double fingered pointing hand. You know, we've seen all this stuff before. Uh, nothing crazy unique. Uh, we do get a bunch of grenades, which I do love. Some simple black grenades, so those are really nice too. Uh, we also do get this badass gun right here. I think this one came out really cool looking. Uh, I love the way this look, looks very, very nice. Uh, it does have a removable magazine. You do get two of these when you're here. And I love seeing the little bullet inside like that, so that's really cool. Uh, we also do get a bullet effect that we've seen before, and you can put this in any of the guns. So it looks like it's actually shooting a bullet. So again, great. Again, stuff we've seen before, uh, which, you know, if you guys are collecting these figures, you're pretty much used to this. You know what to expect. A lot of the stuff, again, is just reused parts. Uh, we also do get this explosive right here, so maybe some C4, which is really cool. And then we do get the actual uh, trigger right here to actually set off the explosion, which I think is dope. I think we saw both of these things with uh, Stealth Ops, right? I can't remember exactly. Um, but again, we've seen this before, but still really cool. I love little uh, intricate things like this to just really build out the character and stuff like that. So I think it's really awesome. We also do get a grapple hook, which is really cool. I love seeing the little grapple hook in silver with an actual string attached to it. So you can unwind that and swing them around on it and stuff. So that's really cool too. I love that. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite accessories. This really cool harness that's made of like nylon. has an actual clip and a little backpack right here with some Velcro and some styrofoam. You can just pull out right there and just put all his grenades and extra stuff in there. That it's really nice. So I love that. And you'll see pictures with all of these accessories later. Uh, but I do... I do appreciate, I will say this, I do appreciate everything that we get with these like Rebel Society figures because we do get a good amount of accessories and stuff. So I really, really like things like this. We also do get some red goggles here uh, that you could put on there on like a nylon stretchy strap right here. Uh, and you can like rest them on the forehead if you want to do something like that. So that's a little, get a little focus right there. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, you can put them over the eyes if you wanted to like that. So that's really cool too. Uh, and they, and they are on this little like clear red lenses. Uh, it's a little tricky getting them on because he doesn't have a nose um, to position them on the nose. So that's a little tricky. Uh, still pretty good and cool. Uh, I've been kind of resting them around his neck like that just to kind of hold them like so. So that's probably how I'll display him like that with him around his neck. So I like that. Uh, and then, let me see here, I think that's pretty much everything, uh, but what we also do get is this netting, which is really nice, I love this for to set like booby traps and stuff, uh, and it's a nice stretchy material, I think that's really cool, this is a fun accessory man, you could wrap up some other characters in this and have him carrying them off or you know, just trapping somebody, so I think that's a really cool thing to add with this character, and I'm not sure if we've ever seen this 
with another figure, maybe another Punisher. I can't remember. Uh, feel free to let me know if, if this has been used or not. I just off the top of my head, cannot remember. But still, everything that we do get, I think is cool. Um, I still again feel like it's missing something. I don't know if it's just more white. I really don't know. But I think the things that we do get is pretty awesome. I do wish we would have got more bullet effect pieces or maybe one of the different bigger bursts. I think it would have been cool, especially for this more, more like machine gun weapon. I think that would have been awesome. But still, I do like this, uh, what we get here. Uh, except that brown coat. I don't like that thing. This white one, so much better. All right, so let's check out his articulation now. Uh, it does feel like it's one of those better bucks that we see from Mezco, so like that Gomez buck. Uh, so that neck is on a double ball peg, so it rolls around very, very nicely. Does rotate left and right, up, down, pivot side to side like that. Uh, arms can go all the way up, down, up, and out that far. We do get a butterfly joint in there, rotation at the bicep. We got double, double jointed elbows, which is really nice. Rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we get a double ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls around like so. Uh, does pivot side to side, crunches back and forth, and rotates left and right. We got hip joints that kick forward up that far, back not so much, splits out about that far before you almost rip his crotch here. Uh, rotation in the upper thigh. We got double, double jointed knees where he kick himself in his own butt. Uh, we got rotation at the boot. Ankles are on ball pegs. Uh, they're a little tight here. You can rotate them up and down very little and almost, uh, almost no ankle rocker, so I wish that was a little better. Uh, but still, you know, again, I do like this guy. I, I, I'm not here saying he's trash. Uh, I don't think he's trash. I think he's actually a pretty cool character. I do love the concept of it. Um, is it, again, one of the best ones that they've ever given us? No, I don't think so. I think he's actually one of the worst ones, to be honest with you. Uh, again, he might be my least favorite out of all these like Rumble Society characters. Uh, but that's just me. Maybe you love him and you think he's awesome. Uh, but I think he does look a lot better with a white coat. I think that suits this character a lot more, so I wish they would have just came with that in the first place, because uh, this one just doesn't seem to match up well. Again, that's just my opinion. Maybe you feel differently. Maybe you like the brown coat way better than a white coat. So, still, I think he's awesome. He is not worth over $500. Please stop doing that. It sucks with the limited amount. I get it. Please be reasonable when it comes to these things. Don't do this to each other. Don't try and rip each other off. Just try and be more reasonable, okay? We got, we got to come together as a community and, and figure out how to handle these things a little better without the craziness of the greed, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, still, I think he's pretty awesome. I like him. And in my opinion, if you can get him for a good price, he is definitely a must-get. So, for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and McFarlane Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a Mezco 112 Collective Pink Skulls Chaos Club member and Gold Skull Ninja. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the White Skull Agent. Now overall, I do think he's a pretty cool figure, I like him for what he is. Even though, like a lot of people say he's pretty much a kit bash, he kind of is. And I'm okay with it because it still kind of works for the most part. I love the articulation. It's easily one of the best from Mezco. The soft goods are super well done. I do love all the accessories that we do get. Those are all very, very nice. And I just really like the whole white skull theme. I dig that. But I feel like he's still lacking in some areas. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. I don't like the brown coat, so I much prefer the white one. I think it looks a lot better. Maybe just need a more white. I'm not really sure exactly. He just feels very basic, and that's something I'm not sure. It's not making me love him as much as my other Rumble Society figures, so maybe you're feeling the same way, maybe you're not. I still, again, think he's a cool figure. I do like him, but he's not worth the hype, folks. Yes, I understand he's limited. I get it. Totally understandable. But try your best not to play, pay crazy prices. It's not worth it, in my opinion. He's a cool figure, but not a very valuable figure, in my opinion. So, again, I like him. Not worth $500 plus, but still a really cool addition to your Mezco collection. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.